Everybody, welcome to the T3T. We got three people with us to describe what's going down during Holy Week. This is Miss Trina, this is my mom, and then of course, you know me. Hey. All right, everybody, so Trina and my mom, I dragged you into the T3T. It's so awesome having you both here, both New Mexican fans. They love the state of New Mexico, and they just been talking <laughs> stories <laughs> while <laughs> waiting for this. And so, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, so, Trina, you got number one. What's the number one thing that people need to know this Holy Week? Hey, I really need your help, and the church needs your help, decorating the traditional church and the campus with the lilies and ring arrangements. They'll already be made. You just have to help me deploy them. So if you can come to the courtyard on Saturday at 9 o'clock, I'd love to see you there. Come on by. I think you're going to be there, Mom. Yes, I am. I'll be helping all three days. All right. What's the number two thing that people need to know about during Holy Week? Holy Thursday, Monday Thursday, service at 7, 7 p.m. with 7. a 5.30 Agape Supper. True. And actually, Holy Thursday is one of my favorite days of Holy... It is my favorite day of Holy Week. Uh, we celebrate the institution of Holy Eucharist, and more importantly, we do an actual foot washing, which is a very moving ceremony, and I highly recommend that you come with people you love or people people you, you don't even know. Yeah, people you, you will don't know. You will be moved. <laughs> yeah, it's very powerful. And then Good Friday, we have three offerings for you. So the day of the crucifixion, um, at Monday morning, I mean Friday morning at 9 a.m., uh, our verger, Daryl, will be leading at Stations of the Cross inside of the actual church. Then at 12 o'clock is the Liturgy of Good Friday. Uh, and then that evening is a very special meditative service that uh, Brandon and I have been working on with the choir and with a group of five different actors. Mm -hmm. um, so it's called Meditations on Good Friday uh, through music and spoken word. And you will see a way of taking the passion and mixing it in with 1 Corinthians 13 and present it in a way that hopefully it will be very moving and bring the word alive for us all. So that's those three things. And then, of course, it's Easter. But if you just check our website to see all the different services from the beach to here to the church. Many, many. Many, many, <laughs> many services. Let's check that online. So God bless you. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. For your new thank you, love. everybody. Okay. <laughs> Qué buena que está, qué buena que está, qué buena que está.